Breaking all news from our studio, BGI TV, Baba Gide Imo TV. I am yours faithfully, Mori Rif Rebila Lawa. First are the major headlines for the national news. APC is dead, wrecked Nigeria's economy, Senator to for one more. Presidency APC in Dalama over zoning may throw race open. 16 year old twin brothers defile 10 year old girl in Anambra. Rafia was cooking beans before she left home, says sister of girl beheaded for ritual. 24 gone down as killings rise in Kaduna, Niger. How to report your bank when this please, CBN. Now the news in details. The senator representing Ondo South Senatorial District in the National Assembly, Nicholas Tofuomo, has vowed to quit politics instead of the campaign to the APC. The former is having senator on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who described APC as a dead party, said the ruling party will be unsellable to Nigerians in 2023. The senator stated these during the weekend at an event he organized for youth in the southern senatorial district of the state where they were trained on ICT. If you look at APC, it has ruined Nigeria's economy. They have scored zero in that aspect. When they took power, a bag of rice was 6,000 naira. Now it is about 35,000 naira. APC is a party that is not sellable. Everybody knows that APC has failed the nation. Armed robbery and voluntary are now an integral part of Nigeria. Nobody is safe. It is as bad as that. So APC has failed the nation. APC doesn't have any agenda. And to the next story for the national news. There are strong indications that the All Progressive Congress is in the dilemma over the zoning of the 2023 presidency. The punch gathered that on Sunday that although the party was looking southwards to pick its presidential candidate, there was a strong possibility that it could still throw the race open for both northern and southern aspirants. A top leader of the APC, who confided in one of the correspondents, said the party was still considering options that could make it retain the presidency in 2023. The party leader said, although from all indications, the next chairman will come from the north, that will not stop interested northerners from vying for the APC presidential ticket. We have competent aspirants in the north and the south. We have not made up our mind, but we will go for the best. We will help us retain the presidency in 2023. Also, an APC leader from the north stated all options were still on the table for the party. The party leader stated, if the chairman and the president come from the north, the worst the party can do is to give the chairman a political appointment and allow his deputy, who will be a southern now, to step in. Also, we can retain the present arrangement by retaining a northern chairman and picking our presidential candidate from the south. It was, however, learned that chieftains of the APC, who were pushing for a president from the south, were insisting that the party could not turn around to zone presidency to the north after the same region had produced the chairman of the party. To another sad story, the executive director of the Vina Kier Foundation, Mrs. Rachel Yehona, told the news agency of Nigeria on Sunday in Oka, it was shocking as 16-year-old twin brothers Chukwe Mika and Chukwe Boka Okwe allegedly the father 10-year-old girl in Abagana, in Jikoka, local government of Anambra. Yehona said this that a case was brought to the foundation by the mother of the victim, Mrs. Benedict Sunday, who is also a nurse. The suspects were children of the caretaker of the house where the victim lived and had been continually aroused for our refusal to be the file a second time. The holder said the alleged crime was reported at Abagana police station on January 16th and the suspect and their mother, Mrs. Chimwe Kokwe, were arrested. She said the girl was taken to Intasi Center for Sexual Assault Cases at Enugu Uku General Hospital where it was confirmed that she was the file. Following perennial tears, the area between the vagina and the handles. She also said that the victim, accompanied by the police officer and an aunt to the suspect, went for a second test at the police clinic when the mother of the suspect said the medical result from the taxi center was forged. According to Yehuna, the result still came out positive. The mother of the victim said her daughter complained of pains in the private part and stomach symptoms in November 2021, without telling how the caretaker's sons defiled her. As a nurse, she bought drugs and used a hot towel to massage her daughter's vagina area. On January 16, she said she got back from work and met vigilante group with her daughter waiting. The group said they brought back her daughter after she ran to them for safety. 
The job ran to the vigilante group for safety and her mother reported the matter to the police station in Abagana. Afterwards, she said, the two brothers are still denying the defamation, she said. The order said the victims was on treatment while the case had been transferred to the state criminal investigation and intelligence department or account for other investigations. To another South woman from home state, the elder sister of a fiat who was killed for ritual purposes by her boyfriend and other three teenagers as narrating our last moment with the deceased. For Kelwood, the elder sister of a fiat said after putting a pot of beans on the fire in the evening, the disease took permission from her to go out, to which she agreed. She said she had no idea where she was going. Okeo said, when it was around 8.30 p.m., I called her number and asked if she was coming home tonight. She answered, saying she was already on her way and almost home, so I went to bed. Around 10 p.m., I called her only to discover that her number was no longer reachable. I asked her mother if she had seen her daughter. She said no. The following morning, I asked her mother again and she gave the same response. She said she saw the viral video showing the suspect that beheaded the lady. She recognized one of them. This prompted her to carry a photo of the disease to Adato police station, where the divisional police officer told them that she had been murdered. She said their mother, who is suffering from hypertension, has not been informed of the situation because they are afraid something might happen to her if she hears of it. After the next story, the Kaduna state government says the attacks by gunmen on Zamandabo village in the Atiyap chiefdom of Zangokata local government area of the state in the early hours of Sunday claimed 11 lives while all the 30 houses were raised. This is just as over a dozen persons were reportedly killed and others injured during an attack on Gadadima Pogo community in Nanda state on Saturday. The state commissioner of internal security and home affairs, Samuel Arua, who confirmed the Kaduna incident said as of 4.30 p.m., no fewer than 11 residents of the area had died. It was learned that gunmen at about 3 a.m. on Sunday stormed Atak Maui Ward in Zaman Dawo village in the Atiyap Chiefdom of Zangokata local government area of Kaduna State and killed no fewer than 10 persons. However, the commissioner in a statement titled 11 confirmed killed, others injured in Zangokata LGA said security operatives overseeing the southern part of the state said 11 people were killed while others were injured. And Rwa identified the victims as Elizabeth Ayuba, Veronica Alta, Bede Daniel, Kefes Waje, Thomas Jacob, and Damaris Estefanos. Others, in, according to him, are Awahu Joshua, Dogara Gambo, Lydia Ishaya, Michael Achi, and Gabriel Michael. And before we call it to wrap, the last story for the national news. The Central Bank of Nigeria has released a guide for bank customers and others on how and where they can lodge complaints against financial institutions regulated by it. The financial institutions include commercial banks, microfinance bank, primary mortgage institution, and discount houses. The CBN noted it had earlier issued a cycle law directing all banks to expand their existing ATM health debts to handle all types of consumer complaints. Therefore, if you have a complaint against your bank, you must first report the complaint at the bank branch where the issue originated and then allow two weeks, it might be less or more, in some cases, for the issues to be resolved, it said. According to the Apex Bank, the customer has the right to escalate the complaint to the Director, Consumer Protection Department of the CPN, after lodging the complaint. When the bank fails to acknowledge within three days, or issue a tracking number, or fails to resolve the complaint within a time, timeline as stipulated by the Consumer Protection Regulation. The CPN said, you can only direct a complaint to CPB upon the failure of your bank financial institution to resolve your complaint within the timeline stipulated by the Consumer Protection Regulation. That was the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines. 2023, APC is there. Wrecked Nigeria's economy, Senator Tofo Womo. Presidency, APC in Dalma, overzoned may throw race open. We also brought to you 16 year old twin brothers, the foul 10 year old girl in Anambra. Rafia was cooking beans before she left home, says sister of the Rafia, who was used for ritual. 24 gone down as killings rise in Kaduna, Ninja. And lastly, how to report your bank when you flee, CBN. For more updates of our broadcast, our YouTube channel Ando, Baba Mide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for updates. On Facebook, Baba Bagide Imo, with Alawigi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page for updates as well. On Instagram, Bagide Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services and products, 
coverage of event and function, the phone number streaming on your screen is the number to dial. Thank you once again. I am Maureen Rebina Lawal.